High traffic volumes are expected to, uh, were expected uh, during the course of the day as holiday makers uh, make their way back home. Extra law enforcement officers have been deployed at strategic points along the highway. The N3TC spokesperson Tanya Dugra are joining us now. And thank you for being with us, uh, Ms. Dugra. We, we've chatted before. So, so firstly, just explain the traffic volumes. Uh, you said that 1,000 vehicles were expected northbound. Over what period? Uh, how, how do we describe it? Uh, good evening, Francis, and good evening to all your viewers. Well, actually, what we were reporting was that there were expected to be more than 2,000 vehicles an hour traveling in a northbound direction on the route. Um, we actually reached highs of almost 2,400 vehicles an hour traveling northbound towards Gauteng earlier this afternoon. And that trend continued with really high volumes. In the last hour, we were processing just under 1,900 vehicles an hour through the Dehuk Toll Plaza, which is the northernmost plaza on the route. All right, so 2,400. Uh, give us a sense of how that compares to what we've seen in previous years. Um, uh, we're always trying to gauge how many people are, are still going on holiday despite COVID. And, uh, of course, everything opened up, um, but quite late this year. Yeah, well, that's actually very typical for this time of year with return traffic, especially because everything is consolidated on the day. Um, and usually it would be today and tomorrow that we're expecting this type of volumes. It's very typical for what for this type of trend. Are, are these the big volumes? Because, of course, some people are only coming back next weekend or, or only beginning their holidays now. What we typically experience and our forecast is indicating that we will experience really high volumes again tomorrow. And then thereafter, it's likely that there might still be traffic, but not of this magnitude. I think it's very much dependent on people returning to work and with a lot of you know, workers returning in the next week then that's why we're expecting it to be that high. With schools reopening um, in the next two weeks, we will still have some traffic returning, but we don't expect it to be of this magnitude. All right. And then, uh, unfortunately, um, it looks like the death toll could be high. Our reporter earlier saying we don't know yet, uh, but given the number of crashes, it may even be higher than, than last year. Do you agree? Unfortunately, I can't comment on the number of deaths that have occurred on the route, and especially not, you know, nationally either. Um, but what I can tell you is that yes, we have unfortunately had some serious incidents where lives were lost. And is is everything being done to to prevent that? Um, do you think, uh, of course, you can't control driver behaviour or, or vehicles that are unroadworthy? But is everything being done on this very important route uh, to protect people? Everything that is possible and within our control is definitely being done. And through partnerships with law enforcement and emergency services, operations are on high alert to ensure that we're doing everything we can to keep traffic flowing. Yeah. Law enforcement in particular are in full force out on the route, highly visible and making sure that road users are compliant. But as you say, there's only so much we can do to, you know, to control road user behavior we and driver behavior. All that we can do is encourage them to please continue to follow the role, rules of the road and, you know, to try and do their bit to ensure that everybody reaches their destination safe. And, and I guess it's crucial to be calm um, right now because so many people are dying to get back home and they're um, in, in a bad mood because the, the holiday is over and uh, not much to look forward to. But that, that's when it's important uh, to keep your head, basically. Very much so. And particularly with the weather also, you know, playing such an important part right now. I mean, we're having unprecedented rain for this time of year, and that's making the conditions on the road a little, a little bit more difficult. And drivers need to adjust their behavior accordingly. And what we're actually seeing is that road users don't adjust their driving style to suit the prevailing conditions. They don't maintain following distances, and particularly when the roads are wet, skidding and slipping and sliding and, you know, your reaction times are significantly impacted by the weather. And drivers need to take that into consideration so that they can proceed with safety and ensure that they reach the destination. 
All right, thank you for that warning. And yes, please be safe uh, if you haven't uh, left for your journey yet and will be in coming days. Uh, that was the N3 toll concession spokesperson, Tanya Dugra. Let's now cross our reporter, Offense Sitimo. He's at the Carousel Toll Plaza on the N1. Offense, we spoke to you earlier and you said you were seeing those traffic volumes. Uh, give us an update. Thank you very much, Francis. Well, I can definitely confirm that the traffic volumes have definitely picked up here uh, at the Carousel Toll Plaza. Uh, there's definitely a lot of movement. Ever since lunchtime uh, today, we've seen a lot of cars actually moving through the Toll Plaza itself. But uh, to elaborate a bit further on this, I am joined by RTMC's Simon Zwani, who's just going to elaborate a bit further. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Zwani. Uh, can you just tell us, how are the numbers looking, especially at toll plazas all over the country? Yeah, the roads are extremely busy uh, this evening, particularly coming into Gauteng. On the N1 here at uh, Carousel, there's 2,033 vehicles recorded coming into, the, into Gauteng in the last hour. Uh, on the N3, there's 1,870 uh, coming into Gauteng as well. And also on the N4 from Pumalanga, we're seeing 1,700 in, in the last hour coming in. So it's extremely busy, but there will be added pressure on the M3 because there's just been an accident in Van Rienen involving eight cars. So we don't know yet, yet whether there are fatalities or not, but both uh, directions are closed. So that is going to put pressure because a very high number of vehicles is going to be stuck there and they will be coming in late so roads are going to be very busy until late at night and based on your fatal crash data which routes are the most notorious and the most dangerous i know limpopo and eastern cape fair very high yeah this n1 around mudimule is is, is famous or notorious for accidents but we've seen in the past couple of days the n1 in the western cape between Lanesburg, Beaufort West, we've had a number, we've had a number of uh, horror crashes there with five or six people killed in one incident. So that has been uh, a big concern for us. But the, well, the entry has not, had, has not given us many problems. We've also had one crash also in, in R61 in the Eastern Cape and then on the N4 around in Pumalanga. Yes. And um, the, 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 the cars or the vehicles that are involved mostly in these crashes, which ones? It's, we've seen trucks getting involved, uh, taxis, but it's a high number of small vehicles that have also collided with the trucks or with a taxi and resulting in high number of fatalities. And of concern is that the high number of facilities have come out from the small vehicles. Thank you very much. Well, as you heard, that was the RTMC Simon Zwani actually confirming that, you know, the numbers of traffic volumes have actually gone up over uh, the past couple of hours in almost all the toll routes leading to Gauteng. And with that, it's back to studio.